Hey guys, in this video, it will be another Tech It thing, and we'll be teaching, well, he'll be teaching you and me about, what are we going to be, what's in this video again? Industrial Craft 2. Okay, so, well, And the Tunnel of Intensity. Well, guys, last video, we forgot to do the Gem of Eternal Density, so we'll just do that now. Yeah, Matt so this it was the last video. I'll put an annotation in right now. Alright, Matt, come over here. It's like... Now, like, the Gem of Eternal Density condenses things into better objects. So, Matt, are you watching? So, like, I put it in, turns all the cobble and stuff, starts turning all the resources into items. See? Out of all that stuff, it turned red matter... Into the highest ones? Yeah, it starts to turn stuff into other things. So you can just use it to get rid of all your cobble and stuff that you don't need. Okay, now let's That's get on to... This part. Okay, so up here. Right. Minecraft Industrial Craft 2. two. Alright, well... So this video might be in two parts, because it's going to be long. Yeah, well... This in episode the of will be in, in two parts, so two videos. In the beginning of Industrial Craft, you need to get sticky resin, which you need to make a tree tap, as the recipe is shown here. Oh, and by the way, we updated, like, we upgraded the server, kind of, like, we put it on a different computer, so it's faster now. So then once you use the tree tap and get it from a, you use it to get the sticky resin from a tree, then this is how you will get rubber. Yeah, we'll go show you now. We'll go show you how you can use a tree tap to go get what's it called again? Um, sticky resin. Okay. And for the record, you can make this tool electric, but we did not show that in this video. It will be in a later video. Industrial craft so, tools. This it's is kinda rare, but here's one right here. It's so like and you'll just trees, right click with this yeah. and you'll get it. The trees spawn mostly the best place to find rubber trees is in the jungle, and not the jungle but the swamp. Like they spawn a lot there. We spawn those in cause for video purpose. Guys, and we're thinking about doing it all legit, like doing another like doing like a whole series of like us surviving actually, but like that'll probably be after all these. Yeah, like if you guys want it. Like, okay. once you get sticky resin, you can smelt it to make rubber. And rubber is used to insulate cables yes, and other things. So then and you can make copper stuff. cable with it. Yeah, that's how you get most machines. Yeah, we rehearsed this time, so Matt knows some of the stuff. Yeah, and then you get refined iron. And then, and just, just by smelting iron, yep. I, have, I have coal. So and just, an electric circuit. Which is used for all machines. So if you don't have that, then you can't make any machines. Which is why you need rubber so much. Okay, and then... and then... With the refined iron, you make a machine block. Which is used for every single machine. And, and then, then you, you can get a battery for, like, portable... to For portable, um... Electricity. Yeah, like, you can store energy in it. And then you can also make a generator. And a bat box and a couple other things. So the generator, like, it, if you put coal in it like we'll demonstrate everything later like again again if you put coal in it it generates electricity so these are like the basic machines right here an extractor yeah. is how you make it using the tree taps and machine block really basic and uh macerate a macerator macerator it, it like doubles like you can macerate um your ores to get twice as much then the compressor which is used to make certain special items for really good things we'll show you that later in the video and then the electric furnace, which smelts like a lot faster than the normal furnace. And then, and then bat box. Yeah, bat, bat, yeah, the bat box, which is used with batteries, and and we'll show these off later. All right, then here you need an energy crystal for the MFE, which is the next best storage device. This so is MS, MFE. It stores like six six hundred thousand, I think. I forget. Not here's the um. Then, if you look at the lapton crystal, it's like spelling the lapton crystal. And then that'll make the MFSU. And MFSU, and we'll show the advanced circuit later in the video, and I'll sh we'll show the advanced machine block also. And then here's the mixed metal ingot. And the mixed metal ingot is used for something called advanced alloy which we'll show like later like the uses 
the here's um bronze dust and then we get bronze dust you need to the get copper dust you need to macerate copper and then tin dust you need to macerate tin and what you and then if you smelt the bronze you can use it to make a wrench which is like like nearby but like we have to get to that recipe in a bit so like yeah then the way to get advanced alloy is compressing mixed metal ingots I actually need two of these but, and then after then here is how you get coal ducts by macerating coal we don't have any full batteries in there so with the yes. coal dust you can make something called raw carbon fiber that's right here yeah which you can use to make raw carbon mesh which is used for carbon plates like if you go and look at it when you compress carbon um raw carbon mesh it makes carbon plates what do you use them for raw carbon plate carbon plates you what do you use the place for um here um advanced um machine blocks and nano armor so okay. here is some nano armor how to make nano armor it's, it's pretty good armor it's like the nar armor I have on, except it's not as good. And like you, if you can see, like they have n no bar. It doesn't mean that they're broken. It means that they need to be charged. So the next thing we're gonna show is the mass fabricator. It's um advanced machine blocks, advanced circuits, and we'll show those later. I have them set up just in another room. That's then here's the terraformer, which will which Terra. we'll show us later. What does that do? It, it changes the environment, but to get the TFBP on the top, you need to make it over here. Matt, come over here and look at it, the recipe. The TFBP. That's how you make the TFBP. So you need to make one of those for this thing. The next thing is um the recycler. That changes everything to... Scrap. Like, you, every, yeah. like, it's random. I forget how many it is per scrap. It's like one scrap per, like, more than ten or something. It's, it's pretty, it's like, not super rare, but it's not super common. So over here is the frequency transmitter, which is used for teleporters, and then there's the teleporter recipe. It yeah, so this, let's say you make that, and then, that, teleporter then you use that to make that teleporter. Yeah. Teleporter is, like, fairly cheap. Then here's iridium ore. Use 7 UU matter, which we'll show how to get later. It's just in another room. And then here's um, use that. what you do with iridium. Um, make it an iridium plate, which is used to make the armor I have on. Matt, look at me. This, that's how you make the armor I have on. You need the iridium plate. Then in here, we have um, the LV transformer, which is used to take like 64 EU and turn it into 32 EU, which is the amount of EU. Electrical Why would you want to change it to make it lower? It will blow up your machines if you don't. Like, it's oh. electronical electrical units and then the MV transformer ta takes like a couple hundred I think like 200 something 100 no 128 down to 64 and then you have to have that and then here's the HV transformer ta takes like a couple thousand down to like 128 or like a couple hundred then here's the wrench which is the only safe way to just t destroy machines without losing them and getting them turned back into a machine block. Okay. So, oh yeah, we forgot to show this. Oh well. Well, here, earlier, like for the electron electric furnace, you need this. You need an iron furnace, which is just showed here in that crafting table. Yeah, you need. What? Well, yeah, you need. Yeah. Iron. Yeah. So yeah, you make it. Then in the chest, there's um all this. There's like the ores that are added. I probably missed one. So let's go. And guys, we're not going to show the nuclear reactor this video because we need to set it up and we need to set it up and we need to look up certain ways how to yeah, set it up. Change the time. Oops. Okay. Now right. over here. Over this is, here. This is like the hard, like kind of testing thing. Oh yeah, I put those in the actual machines. But now here's fiberglass cables, which is the best way to pl send energy. Cause you don't, you lose the least amount of energy. Like, 
you copper cables lose like one EU every like a f- five or eight. I forget that you loses one EU every forty. So here's the ways to get machine to get power. So Windmill. with the, all these use generators, by the way. Yeah, let's see. Solar panel. Solar panel. Kind of expensive, but pretty useful, especially when you get a ton of them. Here's a geothermal generator. It uses lava as a power, and the cells there is made like that. And then there's the yeah, the cells that you need for this. Not, so I don't that's how you make it. I'm gonna and... show some. Okay, now we'll come over here. So here is a geothermal generator. So Matt, look at the one on the left. Oh wait, no, Matt, go to the one on the right. Here, let me destroy this. Okay. So if you put, you're looking on the one on the right. Yep. So if you put lava in it, lava cells, you can pump lava into it with buildcraft pipes as well. But isn't that Matt, look at the bat box? Like it's, it fills it up. See. Now you can, yeah, you can just pump lava into it with like buildcraft, but that's like gonna be another video which we'll show. Okay. Then over here is the normal generator, just coal in the bottom. You can put a battery on top to charge. Okay. So and like, then the bat box will. The bat box will charge up, but it's full. And up there are windmills. Here, Matt. Um. Here, I'll that. just zoom in. No, take this. It's Matt. T- did you get take up the ring? Take the ring. How do I use it? Um, put it in your hot bar and double tap space, like we're, like when you're in creative. So like we just we showed that in the last video by the way. So here's um windmills. They just get wind power. And then down here we have solar panels. They have to be they can't be stuff above it. It has to be like directly touch directly to the sun. Oh, wait. All right. Then over here we'll just show the four storage, the three storage. So here is the MFSU. And then These are we have an MC transformer here, and then a LV, because this transmutes in oh 512. Then this pu- brings it down. Then this brings it down, because if it didn't, it would blow up certain things. And also, like with the wrench, if you come over here, Matt. Yeah. The wrench, you can also change the direction of the bat box and stuff. So Matt, you see that the one abnormal part on the bat box? Yeah. Right. That that is where, that's how you, that's where the electricity comes out. All the other spots is where the electricity. So if you comes hit it with in. the wrench, it'll move it to like a different spot. Yeah, and if you so moved it to this, twice, it will break it. Okay. You, so here are all of our machines. We just set these up. So Matt, look in the recycler. No, so oops. if you put anything in the recycler, it will Change turn it to it scrap. scrap. It's like See how it's changed. random. But it's like a random amount for each one. Yeah, it's a random chance. So you like one time you could have. So that one took like three or four, I think. It I just, it just I made one. So and yeah, then so. Matt, go to the compressor. So like here we're just compressing raw carbon. Here I'm gonna get some overclockers to speed it up. Somewhat. See, I just like I just add you, something to speed it up. Where okay. under the arrow. I, just, I didn't show how to make it, but carbon plates. Then you can use the extractor to extract sticky resin. And these machines are quite really loud, so if you're going to play, you might want to turn down your volume. I turned off my sound, yeah. so you can't yes, hear Yes, you get three rubber. You can extract rubber wood to get one rubber, and you can also extract water cells to get coolant cells. To Here, make I'll turn on my sound so you can hear it real quick. To make the things that I was using to speed it up. Here, Matt, open the macerator. You hear it? So the macerator, like we said earlier, it like doubles the ores. Gives you two dust. So okay, that's getting annoying. You guys get the point. Yes. So two, it gives you two iron dust. As you can see, per it can get, it gives you two per ore. So, like, you can macerate the copper, like we said, in the tin to get the thing. Now, if you go to the furnace, Matt, you're watching. Yes, electric furnace. 
So this is how fast it smelts without any backup. I thought I turned off my volume. I guess not. Yeah, see, it goes pre goes pretty fast. So you can like hook that up. You can just smell all your things pretty fast. So over here, we're gonna show you how to get UU matter. It's called a mass fabricator, which we said. I I turn it on. And if you turn on the lever, you watching that? Yes. It produces UU matter. But guys, we are using the best power sources, so it's gonna take a really quick time. But normally it takes forever. And like here, let me get some scrap. But if you get the scrap and you put it in, your mat get it because it's gonna go. Real Matt, are you watching it? Yes. Now, if you put scrap in it, it speeds it up. Anything does, or just scrap? Scrap. Scrap. Okay. So now, with all that UU matter, you can make the iridium plates, which we said. So over here, we're going to give you, these are like some main ingredients you need for quantum armor, which is what I have on. I just We already it. showed that. I didn't show rubber boots. Oh. I showed nano armor, not quantum armor. Okay. So bam, you make rubber boots for one. You need advanced circuits there. And here's reinforced glass. And here, I forgot to... What does the reinforced glass do? It just doesn't break. It, it's, like, really hard to break, but you need it for a recipe. So here, um... I was gonna... I forgot to add... The event... The... Thing. So, basically, in the middle of that... Where's the machine block? So, that... This is how you get an advanced machine block. What does that do? Do you just it's need that for some things? For used for better machines like we showed them earlier okay so over here is the how you make the each quantum armor so start with the helmet start with the start with the helmet Matt over here the first one wait which so one's the best kind of armor the, the quantum yeah so when you're done just grab it and then we can show you how to what to do with it once you do that I gra did you grab it Matt wait I need to like get rid of my inventory real quick just get rid of some stuff. That's enough, I guess. Uh, you just need like four spaces. So you get that, take that, and then look at the chest plate recipe. That's how you make the quantum chest plate. And guys, each thing has a special special ability. I forget if it's, it's um fixed or not because it used to be bugged where you didn't. I and forget. here, the it's quantum. The legging. The legging is allow you to run super fast. The helmet doesn't make you starve to death, and the chest plate relieves all damage. I think. So Matt, if you grab that, we'll, we'll like show off the video. And so the and then boots. here's the nano boots. You don't take fall damage unless you're using the super boost. And I'll put them on, I guess. And they can no, wait, no Matt, don't. You have to charge them first. So that's what all this stuff's over here for. So Matt, if you just put each one in an MFSU, the top part, Matt over here. Matt Where? over over here, these four. Put them on the bottom. Just put them on the top part. Oh, of, so this is a solar panel. Yeah, the solar panels above it, and then each. So just put like one part, one armor in each the top. On the top. Oh, oops. I get it. Now just do each one, Matt. Oops, my bad. Each one holds like a lot of charge. But this would take a long time if you didn't have like these high solar panels. Well, no, the charge for MFS, you yeah. We just. So we only have like one we only have one on each so it's not like super fast. but no the and guys for the record we're not going to show how to make these because it takes 64 eight eight stacks to 64 solar panels per each one and that that's a ridiculous amount of solar panels so like matt go to escape matt press escape yeah go to controls um go down to um it's at the very bottom. Go scroll down to the very bottom. It says boost. See yeah. what your key is, and you L change it to something. Control. It's I'll red. just change it to like something like easy to use. It's like V or something. I don't know. Whatever you, whatever you choose. Cause that's oh, how no, you. Use charge stuff. item. Let's do you. Okay, you. What does that do? For boost. Yeah. You did it to boost. Well, if you, Matt, look at me. So Matt. Yeah. If you hold V or whatever thing you had with the quantum boots, you jump super high. And if you have legs Oh no, oops. And Matt, if you have legs on, 
You run super fast. It doesn't make me jump high. Because you don't have anything on. Oh. And if you have... Then so if I put on the boots and then I hold it? Yeah, you won't take... And then you won't... You have to put them on you. Then no. hold, hold it and jump. So... Yeah, you're right. Wait. And then, like, with all this on, I will not, I will not take any damage. Okay. Oh, uh... Damn, you just ruined the video. <sighs> Alright, so thank you for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Okay, guys, so thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. If... Yo, subscribe, and uh, comment, like, favorite. Okay, yeah, this is our friend that just interrupted the video. So thanks for watching. Bye. Uh, see you guys.